Howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel, uh, coming at you with another offering off my sampler platter. Oh, yeah. Uh, so today I'm coming to you from my car. Reason being, uh, this is going to be a special episode. Um, not a very special episode because, again, I don't have any life lessons to teach people, uh, except to not live the way that I live in most regards. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm doing a little bit of a thing here. Now, of course, if you've seen, I realized recently that, because usually I'll have the items like off to the side or down, uh, like below the, the camera angle, uh, so that I can debut them. But then I realized that like, well, I already have like the name of whatever the item's going to be in the title of the video. So, uh, so you'll already know, uh, this is going to be a Zenwitch special. Now, what the hell is a Zenwitch? Well, I'm about to tell you folks, don't get your freaking panties in a bunch. So I'm going to let you know. Uh, Zenwich, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Zenwich is a little restaurant um, around where I live. Uh, and there's, I believe there's another location in Chicago, I, I think. But uh, basically what Zenwich does, they serve Asian-inspired sandwiches. Oh, that's amazing, folks. You, I, I mean, I love Asian food, uh, Chinese, Vietnamese, uh, Japanese, Korean, uh, Mongol, yeah, whatever. I, I have, you know, almost across the board loved pretty much everything. I love pretty much any food anyway, but I definitely love me some Asian food. So, <clears throat> now, a little disclaimer here. Uh, I got three items off their menu, and thing is, I've been to Zenwich plenty of times. Uh, they, they definitely know who I am. Um, and I love their food. It's absolutely phenomenal. So, what I did, though, in making this video was I chose three items that two I haven't tried at all, and then the third I haven't had in quite a while. So, hopefully, like, I, you know, usually when I do the reviews, I try to be completely, you know, not have anything to do with any of the stuff. Uh, where I've tried it before. In this case, like I said, there's a little bit of a caveat, uh, because I have been there and, you know, but, so why am I doing this? Well, specifically, folks, I don't know exactly when this is going to be uploaded. I'm thinking, uh, maybe a week or so from when I'm actually doing it. And, you know, but the thing is, we are, we're living in some interesting times right now with all of the, uh, uh, COVID, uh, virus stuff and everything. And, you know, uh, for me, you know, of course, I've been affected to a certain extent, less so than some other people. I'm fortunate my job is still open. I'm actually uh, taking some vacation time right now anyway. Um, you know, but for a lot of people, they're not that lucky. And especially, you know, service industries and stuff like that. I mean, they, at least here in Illinois, uh, they were the first ones to get hit. They were the first ones where, you know, they were told, look, you got to dial it back. So... Uh, they are still open for most of them anyway, for like curbside, uh, and you know, uh, carry out and stuff, which can dine in. Um, obviously there's just less people going out and that's kind of hurting them. So I figured that what I would do is I would try to hit up some of my local spots that I really like and do some videos for them and hopefully give them a little publicity, uh, or at the very least, you know, maybe inspire some of you fine folks to go out and patron, uh, some of the places that you enjoy. Um, especially, you know, and I mean, I hate to kind of add this little, you know, this little add on here, but I have to, um, you know, especially with some of the tensions that have been going on, uh, you know, I'm not gonna start going into a whole preachy thing, but some of the tensions that have been going on with very misdirected, uh, you know, I don't want to say, I mean, just very misdirected negative intentions and understandings uh, towards people uh, of Asian ethnicity during this whole thing. Uh, with that shit, I will just say, folks, if you're watching my videos and you're one of those folks, probably not. I like to think that for the people who I know watch my stuff, uh, that I have a, I have a good audience. Um, but, you know, if, if you are, quit it with that shit. Seriously fucking stop it. I don't care what anybody on the news says or anything like that, what office they may or may not hold, quit it with that shit, okay? So, um, now that said, I'm not, you know, I'm going to try to do a few of these videos. Um, 
what I personally have been doing during this whole isolation period uh, is I've been doing a, uh, one day I'll eat out someplace, the next day I'll eat some of my supplies, uh, then day out, supplies, so on and so forth. That way, you know, I can kind of, first of all, I can kind of curtail, um, you know, just the cost. It does cost, you know, a decent amount to go out. But on top of that, you know, just to, you know, so that I'm getting in a little bit of a break. Um, so I'm, but I am planning to do hopefully a few more of these. We'll see. Um, and my hope is, you know, I, I'm not just going to do, you know, Asian inspired places and, you know, going to hit up some other places too. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because these are places that I really like. So, um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to always hit up, uh, things that I haven't tried before, but I I'll try to, uh, for me, if, Obviously, I don't have a huge deal of, uh, you know, of influence, but whatever influence I do have, which again, very, very little, I'm sure, but uh, if I can use it in a positive way, you know, I always like to sign out on a positive note, but on top of that, if I can do what little I can to help other people during this, even if it's just, you know, hopefully helping uh, people to maybe get out and, you know, um, you know, try to get back to their lives a little bit and, you know, help some other folks out, some local businesses and everything. So with all that said, uh, I'm going to go through, I'm going to try these three things out. Then after I'm done, I'm going to eat my lunch, which is going to be these things. So what did I get? Like I said, I got three items. I got two sandwiches, specifically a chicken satay sandwich, which I have never had before, uh, from, from Zenwich. Um, then I got a crab, crab cake sandwich, which I have had before, but it is not one of my go-to sandwiches. Usually when I go there, uh, I get the spicy shrimp and I get the, uh, Korean cheese steak, which are, oh my God, good. Um, but I know for a fact I've had the crab cake before. I just haven't gotten in a while. So I figured that would be my one where I'd be like, okay, this is, yeah. And then, uh, the last thing I got as an appetizer, I got an order of the veggie tempura uh, teriyaki, which I've never had before. I'm usually not big on, uh, veggie appetizers, but this one looked pretty good, and I've tried most of their other appetizers. Usually, I get the garlic takoyaki, uh, which is, uh, uh, it's basically breaded octopus. Uh, it's really good. Um, so those are the three items that I got. I believe the, the veggie tempura teriyaki is the top thing, so that's going to be most likely the first thing that I try. Let's reach in and see what happens. Yep, definitely the, uh, yep, so okay. And take a look. That's what it looks like is the veggie tempura, uh, thing. Uh, I do not see any immediate silverware of any kind, but that's okay. This definitely looks like something I can eat with my hands. They're clean and such. Kind of. I, I washed them earlier. And I've also got, as just a little added thing, I've got Calpico Soda. I've got a couple of these here with me to wash all this stuff down. I'm not going to do, I mean, I guess I could do like a little mini thing on these. Um, I've had Calpico many times before. Um, and you know what? I'll even just, since my uh, my throat is a little bit parched anyway, we'll just get this one right out of the way. Uh, we'll, we'll count this as a bonus feature, I guess. So Calpico Soda, it's Japanese soda. I was very thirsty. Um, how to describe Calpico? Um, and this is a, this is a original flavor. Uh, it's very smooth. There's no carbonation whatsoever. Um, it's a kind of a white drink. Um, I don't know exactly what the flavor is supposed to be. Um, it's got high fructose corn syrup in it. Uh, non-fat dry milk. I know there's a lot of things where, uh, uh, over in Japan, they use, like, milk flavor for, like, certain candies and stuff. It doesn't taste like milk exactly, uh, but I guess maybe it's, um, it has, like, almost a fruitiness to it. Uh, I can't say exactly what fruit, but it is very, very good. Um, and again, if you, if you enjoy... I know for some people, uh, they might enjoy soft drinks, but they aren't big on the carbonation. 
Um, they, by all means, folks, check out some Calpico because you don't get that. It's very, very smooth. I mean, I could genuinely... I've got probably a little over half the can. I, I'm sure I could down this thing in one go if I wanted because there's no carbonation, no resistance. So that's my little mini review for Calpico. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get down to business with this uh, veggie tempura takoyaki. So we got a little piece right here. Oh, sorry about that. Again, I know that's kind of gross. I apologize. Um, it would it be grosser if I blew my nose on camera. Now, the real answer is I should have done that beforehand, but I was probably doomed anyway because I'm outside and I've got the windows open in my truck because it's a very nice day, uh, but I've been inside for like two days, so I think just the difference there. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Um... Thanks for mentioning, I have no idea exactly what vegetables these are supposed to be. Uh, but they are fried. They're covered lightly. I should emphasize that. They're not slathered by any means. In a uh, light uh, teriyaki sauce, which is amazing. I think, quite possibly, the most underrated sauce of all time. Uh, we've, here in America, we've seen a, uh, an upshot in like salsa sauces and stuff. Uh, Valentina, uh, Tabasco has been pretty popular for quite a while. Um, oh, uh, what's the other one? Um, uh, you know, the one with the rooster, I can't think of what it's called, but anyway, we've seen quite a few of those, like the chili sauces and everything, which are phenomenal. Um, I think we should somehow get teriyaki in, involved in that. I want to see that at tables. That's just my opinion. So yeah, this is very, very good. Uh, it is... Go for another piece here. Um, again. Uh, the main flavor you're getting, of course, is the teriyaki sauce. But I will say it isn't super overpowering. I've had uh, food with, uh, teriyaki sauce on where it's really, really heavy. And that for me was a bit of a turnoff. In this case though, uh, it's kind of in between. It's not super, super light. Cause I've had super light ones too. This is like a perfect balance for me personally. Uh, so you get that. It's great. If you've never had teriyaki sauce, kind of hard to describe. Um, but it has, Kind of a, a little bit of a savory and sourness to it, I guess. Um, kind of at the very end. Uh, not ex not exactly like sweet and sour, but it's, I don't know, almost similar, but then not. Because instead of the sweet, you have more of a savory flavor. Kind of barbecue-ish flavor. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Go for another one because I'm hungry. Ow. And that one had less of the sauce on it. So, when you don't get that, you just get a very nice uh, fried vegetable uh, flavor. Um, you know, you've got the crust on it and everything, obviously. And uh, whatever vegetable it is, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and I'm not enough of a connoisseur to be like, oh, I know all the vegetables because I'm the vegetable wizard. Uh, I'm definitely not the vegetable wizard, uh, but it, uh, I haven't eaten anything all day. Um, yeah, it's really good. It is genuinely fried to perfection. Sauce on there is great. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, I'm not a huge veggie guy as a, uh, uh, for appetizers. Um, I do like certain vegetables and everything like that, you know, as part of the dish. Uh, this I would genuinely get again. Like I said, usually I get the garlic takoyaki, but this I could see actually being something of a contender in there. Uh, maybe every other time I go to the sandwich, I'll pick this up because I really, really enjoy this. So, and granted, 
he can go over there and say, but Brandon, you are already biased. Uh, you know, you, you already go to this place. You're probably some sort of corporate shill who's just doing it for all of the dollars. I don't know why I became like 1930s newsman while I was doing that. Uh, you know, but this isn't, there's nothing paid about this or anything like that. These are just, you know, uh, establishment that I like, that I want to see do well. But I ain't going to go over there and lie to you folks. Uh, by now, I've already posted up some of my other videos where it hasn't always been positive. So just, you know, take that for what it is. So that one's done. We're going to go to the first sandwich. Come to me sandwich. And I have to say, these things are amazing uh, the way they smell. Like, uh, at one point in time, I, I had some, I, I'll admit, I had some buildup of... Uh, uh, a little bit of trash in my truck. Uh, I, when I go out, a lot of times I eat in my truck, and then I, I eventually toss the stuff. Uh, but I had one time where I had to go over there and put some stuff in the back because I was going to have some uh, have someone uh, in the passenger seat. And uh, yeah, I know I should have just thrown it out. And I did. I actually threw out, like, most of it, but uh, there were, like, a couple things I just kind of tossed in the back. And one of them was one of the boxes from this place, and my truck smelled amazing for, like, two weeks. It wasn't in my truck for two weeks, mind you. I realized it like a like a couple of days later I threw it away, but the, it just smelled that really good. So this is a chicken satay. You can see on the thing, it's how they mark it. This is the way it comes. They already go over there and split it in two parts for you, which I always appreciate. Especially for me, I like to do one half of the sandwich, then save the other half, then do uh, one half of the other sandwich, save the other half of that for later. That's just how I do it. You can do whatever way you want. I believe in you. So, we open it up. We've got the carrots and such. Carrots are an interesting tasting vegetable, aren't they? Sometimes they're amazing, sometimes they're just absolutely garbage-tastic. So, we've got the sandwich. It's right here. It's, oh, beautiful. Um, chicken satay. Now, I think I could be wrong. I've always gotten chicken satay at Thai places. It's chicken in kind of like a, uh, like marinated in sort of like a yellow sauce. Um, usually they have like a, oh, like a peanut sauce or something to go with it. I don't think there's a peanut uh, sauce in this. Uh, maybe. Uh, but I can definitely see the yellow chicken. Very excited for this, like I said. I haven't tried this one before. Lots of carrots. Let's, uh, let's give this one a shot, folks. Oh. So yeah, it, uh, it's really good. My facial expressions didn't give that away. Um, definitely has uh, a similar flavor to like the chicken satay I get from the Thai place by my house. Uh, which will probably be one of the places that I do on my little food excursion here. Um, it is, going for another bite. So the uh, most prominent flavor is easily the the chicken satay flavor. Uh, it's got quite a few vegetables in there. It's got uh, your carrots, like I said. It's got some cucumbers, some onions. By the way, tell you how good these sandwiches are. I'm not that big of an onion guy. Uh, in certain instances, I like onion rings. I like French onion soup. Raw onions, I'm not that big on. But uh, with these, no problem. Uh, But yeah, I mean, the chicken is super tender. Um, you know, it's been marinated. It's got that uh, that satay taste to it. It's different than the Thai place. This might be a little bit stronger, I want to say, with the satay flavor. But it's also different. Uh, it's hard to say exactly how, but it definitely doesn't have the exactly the same taste. Um, but like I said, the chicken is very, very tender. 
Uh, you got that satay flavored just permeating throughout. Then you've got the nice crunch and the freshness from the vegetables. Always important. You know, let's, you know, I, I know I'm not the vegetable wizard, but let's give some love for our vegetable uh, friends here. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to describe exactly the satay flavor. You sort of just have to have had tried it, I guess. Uh, it's hard to compare it to something uh, Western, at least, that I can think of. We'll do one more real quick. That was like three more. But yeah, um, absolutely fantastic. Bye, mail guy. Uh, <laughs> I have different mail guys, but my main mail guy I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, he's kind of a prick. <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully he never sees this. But yeah, it's uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, now that said, where does it rank for me in terms of other sandwiches that I've had from uh, from Zenwich? Uh, it's definitely not up there with the spicy shrimp and uh, the uh, Korean cheesesteak. Um, I, I, I will say that. It is good. Definitely not up there. For me personally, anyway. Um, but, could I see going over there and adding it into the mix periodically? Yes, absolutely I could. Um, you know, because even though those are my two go-to, that doesn't mean those are the only ones I'm going to try. Usually, I'm going to go with those. But, periodically, I'm going to want to go over there and break things up. So, uh, for me, really good sandwich. And, uh, excuse me. I'm going to get to the next one, try to get to it quick. Since I'm almost out of time on my thing here. Lousy 30-minute thing. Yeah. Like, this shirt isn't dirty enough already. I know, I should have, uh... Okay. For a second, I was like, no, there's no sandwich over here. Um, I know you, like, I, I, want, I thought about, like, getting one of my better uh, shirts, but I realized I was going to be eating this in the car, and I was probably just going to spill crap on it, so I just grabbed my work shirt, um, which I'm, I'm going to wash sometime. <laughs> so this is, of course, the, uh, the crab cake. Now, like I said, I've had this one before, but it's been a while. Now, I love crab. I love seafood in general, and I love me some crab cake, so definitely has a nice seafood smell. Uh, not one thing with seafood, uh, it should not smell super, super fishy, uh, or super, super seafoody, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that usually means something ain't quite right. Uh, so, you know, but having a little bit of that smell, you know, that's, that's a good thing. It's what it's supposed to smell like. So, take a look at the sandwich. Crab cake. Not as much on the vegetables, looks like, you know, it's still got the, the lettuce and everything, but uh, not with the, uh, oh, the b -b -b carrots and onions and such. So, let's give this a shot. I've got a little under seven minutes to make this count, folks. So, here we go. One more. I'll jack it down the rest. Anyway, um, that took a little bit longer. Uh, I got a little bit of it, uh, had a little bit too much of a bite that I hadn't quite ground up properly. That's why I needed the drink. Uh, it's very good. <laughs> it's a very good sandwich. Um, I mean, it, it tastes like crab cake, which is what it, 
you would imagine it's going to taste like. Uh, the the breading has a really nice flavor to it. It's very nicely seasoned. Um, it almost, almost has a little bit of a kick to it, uh, but definitely not anything pro like super prominent, but it's there. Uh, and it does give that nice burst of flavor. And then kind of after that, you get that nice crab flavor, which if you're a fan of crab, you know what crab tastes like. It's very good. Uh, or if you're not a fan of crab, I don't, you know, do whatever you want. Do you, you don't have to eat this sandwich. Don't get all up about it. Just eat whatever sandwiches you want, folks. But this is a very good sandwich. Um, I'm going to cut for time and everything. I'm not going to do another bite. Well, I mean, I'm going to eat it eventually, but, uh... But very good sandwich. Um, again, now compared to the ones uh, like I did with the chicken satay, compared to my main two, again, this would not be up there with them. But those two are still my most prominent, personally. But I would say, excuse me, this and the chicken satay, for me, I think are a perfect combination because chicken satay, you've got a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the extra vegetables, you've also got the very uh, prominent satay sauce. With this, the crab cake is really the king here. You know, all you've really got is some accompanying lettuce, just to kind of give it a little added freshness flavor. Uh, I really think this is a very good flavor pairing for me. Again, this would be kind of second tier compared to my favorites. Um, you know, I, like I said, I mean, I would have gotten those, but I've already tried them before. I've had them... Uh, Oh, I think like maybe a week and a half ago or so. Uh, so I want to go with these. These are still really, really good. Much higher quality sandwiches than most places that you're going to go to. Um, I mean, this place is right next to uh, like an Arby's to Culver's and stuff like that. And, you know, while every once in a while I, I have the urge to hit those places up, for me, if I'm in the area, uh, I'm going to Zenwich. Like, nine times out of ten. Why would I go anywhere else when I have these, this as an option? It's unique. There's nothing else in the area like it. Um, it's just fantastic. I genuinely wish I could say more on it, but I have to kind of close out this video here real quick. So, folks, um, this is my little Zenwich special. Again, uh, you know, the whole point of this is to hopefully go over there and spur people on to try new places. Um, whether it's Zenwich, whether it's places around you. I found out about this place just by looking up restaurants on Google around me. And I was like, boom, Asian sandwich place. Uh, so always be, you know, checking out stuff because you'll be surprised at some of the great stuff you can find. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off then, uh, you know, with the way I usually like to do it, sandwich in hand. You know, folks, I hope wherever you are, especially during this difficult time, that, you know, you are having a great day, a uh, great week, a great month, a great life and hopefully you're eating some awesome Asian sandwiches or something equivalent that you really love or maybe you're not maybe you're doing something I just hope you're having a great time I really do and uh, like I said hopefully um, you know my videos can be used for a little bit of a positive uh, force out there you know even if I just reach one person uh, that's enough for me so plus I get sandwiches out of the the whole equation so I mean I had to, you know, pay for them and then do the video with the Wi-Fi, which I pay for and everything. But, uh, sandwiches! Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, let you all go. Uh, this has been uh, my sampler platter, Zenwich special. And uh, as a little added tagline, this is something I always like to add on the uh, description of my videos, whether I post them on Facebook or whether I post them on uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, well, I post them both places anyway, but I always like to add with this little tagline. Uh, watch the video, do the thing, folks. That's going to be my little sign-out tagline. I'm going to see you later. Have a great time, folks. Bye! <laughs>